Have you ever wondered how to mine bitcoins? The allure of digital gold can be quite captivating. Picture this, a world where your computer whirs away, solving complex mathematical problems, and in return, you're rewarded with bitcoin. This is the fascinating world of bitcoin mining, a process that not only supports the operation of the bitcoin network, but also creates new bitcoins. Now imagine being flat broke and turning to this intriguing world as a lifeline. That's right. With determination, a dash of luck and a lot of computational power, I managed to mine 1.8 bitcoins. A feat that seemed unimaginable became a reality, pulling me back from the brink of financial despair. This is the captivating and potentially profitable world of bitcoin mining. It's a realm where the boundaries of traditional finance are pushed, and where a simple computer can become a gold mine. So, are you ready to delve into the world of Bitcoin mining? Stay tuned. Before diving into the mining process, let's grasp the basics of Bitcoin mining. It's like a giant global competition where powerful computers race against each other to solve complex mathematical puzzles. But it's not just a game. It's the engine that powers the Bitcoin network. So what is this network? Imagine a vast ledger known as the blockchain where every single Bitcoin transaction is recorded. This ledger isn't stored in one place, it's distributed across the network, on the computers of the miners. These miners play a crucial role in maintaining this ledger's integrity and security. Here's how it works. Every time a Bitcoin transaction takes place, it's added to a pool of unconfirmed transactions. Miners then gather a bunch of these transactions into a block and work to verify them. They do this by solving the aforementioned mathematical puzzle. The first miner to solve the puzzle gets to add the block of transactions to the blockchain. As a reward, they're given a certain number of new bitcoins. This is the incentive that fuels the competitive spirit of Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is a lucrative endeavor because of this reward system. However, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. The puzzles are designed to be difficult to solve, and as more miners join the competition, the puzzles get even harder. It's a balancing act, that ensures new bitcoins are introduced into the system at a steady rate but it's not all about the competition mining also serves a second equally important purpose it secures the bitcoin network by verifying transactions and adding them to the blockchain miners prevent fraud and double spending they're the guardians of the bitcoin network if you will so in essence bitcoin mining is a complex process that combines competition cryptography and a bit of good old-fashioned luck it's a high-stakes game where the prize is a piece of the digital gold rush. Now that we've got the basics down, it's time to look at the actual process of mining. Mining bitcoins might seem complex, but once you break it down, it becomes quite manageable. First things first, you'll need a bitcoin wallet. A bitcoin wallet is a digital wallet where you can store your bitcoins. It's like your bank account, but for bitcoins. There are several types of wallets available, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. It's essential to choose a wallet that best suits your needs and preferences. Some people prefer mobile wallets for their convenience, while others opt for hardware wallets for their enhanced security. Next, you'll need to choose your mining hardware. In the early days of Bitcoin, you could mine using your computer's CPU or high-speed video processor card. Now that's not feasible anymore. Bitcoin mining today requires powerful specialized hardware known as ASICs, or Application-Specific Integrated Circuits. These machines are designed specifically for mining Bitcoins and are much more efficient than general-purpose computers. They're also more expensive, so it's a good idea to carefully consider your budget and potential return on investment before jumping in. Once you have your wallet and your hardware, the next step is to join a mining pool. Mining on your own can be like looking for a needle in a haystack. You could go years without earning any bitcoins. That's where mining pools come in. A mining pool is a group of miners who combine their computing power to increase their chances of finding a block. When the pool finds a block, the reward is split among the members, proportional to the amount of work they contributed. This way, you get a more steady stream of bitcoins even though the amount might be smaller than if you were mining on your own. That's the first half of the process, but there's more to it, let's continue. So you've got your wallet, your hardware, and you're part of a pool, what's next? With these elements in place, it's time to move on to the next step in the mining process. Installing your mining software, this is the program that will connect your mining equipment to the network and allow it to solve complex mathematical problems. There are several options available, each with their own pros and cons, so you'll want to do a bit of research to find the one that's right for you. Once you've chosen your software and installed it on your computer, it's time to start mining. This is as simple as running the software and letting it do its thing. 
while it might not seem like much is happening on the surface, behind the scenes, your computer is hard at work. It's solving those complex mathematical problems we talked about earlier, and in doing so, it's helping to secure the Bitcoin network. But here's where things get a bit tricky. You see, the difficulty of these problems isn't static. It adjusts approximately every two weeks, and it's designed to ensure that new blocks are added to the blockchain about every 10 minutes. So as more miners join the network, the difficulty increases, and as miners leave, it decreases. This means that the more people who are mining, the harder it is to earn bitcoins. This is why being part of a pool is so beneficial. By combining your computing power with others, you increase your chances of solving a block and earning a reward. But remember, the reward is split among all members of the pool, so the more people in the pool, the less each person gets. And there you have it, the basics of Bitcoin mining. From setting up your hardware and choosing your software, to understanding mining difficulty and the benefits of joining a pool, you're now well equipped to start your own mining journey. And that, in essence, is how you mine Bitcoins. But how did I mine 1.8 Bitcoins when I was broke? You might be wondering how I managed to mine 1.8 Bitcoins without a dime to my name. Well, it was back in 2021. I was down on my luck, unemployed and struggling to make ends meet. I had heard about Bitcoin and the idea of mining it intrigued me. I figured what did I have to lose? So I decided to give it a shot. I started with an old laptop. It was slow and the cooling fan sounded like a jet engine but it was all I had. I began mining Bitcoin running the software day and night. My room turned into a sauna from the heat the laptop generated and to be honest it felt like I was getting nowhere. But I was determined not to give up. Overcoming the technical challenges was tough, especially with my limited resources. I spent countless nights researching, learning about hash rates and optimizing my mining setup. I was fueled by the belief that this could be my way out of financial hardship. Eventually, I started seeing small fractions of Bitcoin appearing in my wallet. The feeling was exhilarating, it was slow going but every bit of progress felt like a victory. Then, the price of Bitcoin started to skyrocket. The fractions of coins I had mined were suddenly worth a lot more. I felt like I had struck gold. But just as I was starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, my laptop gave up the ghost. It was a devastating setback but I wasn't about to quit. I sold some of the Bitcoin I had mined to buy a second-hand, more powerful computer. It was a risk but it paid off. With the new setup I was mining faster and within a few months, I had mined 1.8 bitcoins. It was a life-changing moment, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. There were many sleepless nights, technical issues and setbacks. It required patience, determination and a lot of learning. So, that's my bitcoin mining journey but remember it's not all smooth sailing. Bitcoin mining can be a rewarding venture but it's essential to keep a few things in mind. We've journeyed through the intriguing world of bitcoin mining, diving deep into its core, understanding its mechanisms, and sharing a personal tale of mining 1.8 bitcoins during a challenging time. Remember, Bitcoin mining is a process that involves solving complex mathematical problems to validate transactions on the Bitcoin network. It may seem daunting at first but, with the right tools, knowledge and a sprinkle of patience, it's an endeavor that can yield significant rewards. Yet it's not without its challenges. High energy costs, fluctuating market prices and stiff competition are hurdles that every miner must face. But as the personal story illustrates, these obstacles can be overcome, and the potential rewards can be well worth the effort. With the right approach and a bit of resilience, you too could navigate the fascinating world of Bitcoin mining. Good luck.